Hey there everyone, it's me, old Movie Master. So today I'm taking you guys to the swap shop. This is a flea market that's very, very popular here in South Florida. Anybody who grew up here in South Florida, I think is very familiar with the swap shop. And I used to go to this uh, flea market when I was a kid, and it brings back a lot of memories. I used to go with my parents from the age of six all the way to like 15. And whenever I would go to this flea market, I would always get the best deals with VHS tapes. I used to get clothes from the from the flea market at affordable prices. And let's see what we can find. I haven't been to this flea market, oh, I don't know, maybe two years. And uh, I'm being safe. I mean, I'm taking my mask and I called someone up who works at this flea market and they told me that they're keeping safe measure, measures. They're actually putting their masks and they're keeping safe distance. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't go. So I'll see you guys there. So we are almost there. It's a bit of a trip for me because it's, it's not that near. That's why I don't come here that often. But whenever I do, I, I have a good time. It's like I'm, it's like my own personal time machine. It hasn't really changed. Like, and I'll, and I'll show you some, um, some footage from back in the day of how, of how the swap shop used to look, in compare and contrast. Of course, a lot of vendors were no longer there, and there used to be a circus in this, um, in this flea market, and that was like my personal Disney World. Just going there and seeing the circus, the pizza, the elephant ears, um, they had a uh, cotton candy. It was like going, it was like a circus every, every weekend. It was getting very near and you're gonna see when, once you see the bridge you're gonna see this yellow bridge that's when you know you've arrived at the swap shop it's very iconic it's almost coming up you might be able to see it from here I don't think so but Yellow Bridge. There we go. So it's four dollars to park, and the thing about coming to the swap shop, like I said, is that going back in time, it's that you have to pay in cash. And I always carry, you know, some cash, not too much, a couple of bucks. So let's see, four pesos, four American dollars. Two, three, and four. Hello, it's four? Four, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Nope. So another thing about the swap shop is that it's also a movie theater, like an outdoor movie theater. And I'm going to show you right now what I mean. So I'm going to turn and you're going to see that big movie screen. There you go. You see that? So it's also a movie theater. And they show all the recent movies. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, because I've never... <laughs> Believe it or not, I've never been to the movie theater here. I think you get into a, a station and you can listen to the movie from inside your car. But I have plenty of friends who've gone. 
So I'm going to find a parking spot that's a little bumpy. And like I said, since this is a movie theater, that's done on purpose. So you can see the movie in a better angle. So let me find a spot. Here we go. Ah, perfect. And we have parked. We've made it. So I'm going to take you guys inside. It's both indoor and outdoor. So the outdoor part, you have a lot of vendors selling tools, clothes, um, movies, a little bit of everything. In the inside, uh, it used to be a circus many, many years ago, in the 90s. And I think they closed down the circus in 2005, if I'm not mistaken. The um, Stevo, at one point, performed in the circus. Uh, I met Stevo once. Well, I didn't meet him. I rung up an item for him when I used to work many years ago uh, at a UPS store. And he seemed like a very nice guy. Very, uh, you would think he would be eccentric, but he's not. He's actually very down to earth, very, very nice. But anyway, uh, the circus no longer exists, but inside is now a car museum. They have a lot of cars for you to see. And there's also a food bar inside. Uh, like a snack bar, they have like different types of food that should still be there. They have um, a lot of watches, perfumes, um, both original and imitations of like knockoffs of their original uh, perfume at good prices. Uh, you'll see. I'm going to take you guys inside so you can see all of that. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, there's like a lot of vendors. Let's see if I can find any uh, DVDs. We also got baseball caps here. I think I might get two. And they're like two for five, so that's not bad. So far, I haven't been able to find any DVDs. Well, there's adult DVDs, but we're not looking for those. Surprisingly, people still buy them. So I spot here a DVD section. Let's see what they have here. Three for ten. So I, I looked through those DVDs. Well, I didn't touch any of them. I just look from afar because they look like they've been bathing in the sun for decades a lot of them are just common titles so but i'm um, not giving up i'm going to continue looking That spot wasn't that bad, but everything there was just common titles. They were all a dollar a piece. So. You can also find work boots here, which is really cool. So, uh, I told you you have perfumes also, only two dollars. So this is a semi-indoor park, because there's another indoor park to this uh, flea market. So, uh, we're back here in the car, and I didn't find any DVDs. Um, there was DVDs, but there was one guy charging, like, $10 a title. Like, what is this, 1997? Like, that's too much. I didn't find much. I, I also blame myself because I came late. I should have come here really early. In order to find stuff here at this flea market, you have to be here, like, by 9 a.m. When all the vendors are still here. And I got here like at noon, well past noon, that was 1 p.m. So, oh well, uh, I did find, this is the only stuff that I bought, and it wasn't movies. Two baseball caps, two for five. Um, it's a good price, I like wearing baseball caps. 
So, and oh, got myself a cologne from the vendors that you saw there that said $2 for perfumes. Got myself one of these. And I remember buying this exact same one from that same vendor in 2013. And I ran out of the bottle last year. And since I, I don't really use cologne very much, I only use it like when I go out, like on a date or uh, there's a New Year's, I'll wear this cologne. And what I like about it is that you only wear two sprays. And everyone always asks, what is that? And it's a cheap cologne, you know? It's really cheap and it lasts me a long time so I'm not someone who wears it very often. So that's all I got. But this trip is not over. I'm going to go to a place called CD Trader. It's not that far from here. It's, um, it's about, I want to say, 10, 15 minutes away, I think. And they have DVDs there for sure. So they close in about two hours. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go right now. So I'll see you guys at CD Trader. So here we are at CD Trader. Let's see what we can find inside.
So I'm back in the car. Uh, just got out of CD Trader. Um, there wasn't that much. Um, I mean, if you're starting a collection, they have a lot of you know titles that you might be looking for. I already had a lot of the titles that I saw there, but I did get two. I got the Vatican tapes on Blu-ray for two ninety-nine, and I got thirty-one, the Rob Zombie movie. I have a love-hate thing with Rob Zombie. Some of his movies I like, others I think are hot trash. Like Halloween 2, I don't like that movie. But I do like uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. His movies are, you know, a mixed bag. So I only got these two. But um, I'm going to leave on the description down below their Instagram page. They're always posting stuff. I don't know if they do shipping on items, but you can ask. Just like, um, I guess that's just uh, how it is. Early bird gets the worm. You have to be here early. Like, whenever they post something on Instagram, because they'll post, like, new releases, and those go really fast, especially the 4K ones. And I'm not a 4K collector, but for anyone who is and lives around this area, you know, you can come and check CD Trader. Um, and they always have different deals going on, depending. Um, there were some uh, midnight releases there from MGM that I was curious about, but um, they're a little too pricey for me. So I only got those two. So that's all for today. Um, I didn't find that much, but that's okay. There's days where you find stuff, and there's days where you don't find stuff. It depends, you know? Um, there was another video store that I wanted to go to, but I just found out they closed. So that sucks. Um, so for next trip, this one is still open, and I don't know if I'll buy anything there because their prices are always over the roof, is uh, FYE. So next trip... I'll take you guys to FYE, maybe hit up Big Lots, because Big Lots every now and then has some good stuff for 3 bucks, especially Blu-rays and Steelbooks, I see them there every now and then, And but places like Walmart and Target I'm going to stay away from for now because I always see too many people there, there's always lines outside to get people in, so I'm staying away from these places. Like the flea market that I went today, there wasn't that many people, I didn't go all the way inside because I was seeing that there was just too much you know, people conglomerate inside, so I didn't go in there. So I stayed outside. Um, and CD Trader, there was only, like, two other people inside. So I'll see how Big Lots is sometime next week. And I'll take you guys also to FYE. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this trip. Let me know what you think if you want to see more of these type of videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.